Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And we got a piece of cottonwood bark and we're going to try carving a wood spear today. Doing a little wood spear practice. Drew the face on, got the center lines in and we start out with the micro motor with the cut saw. Silver taper burr, which would be the coarse original. Just pushing that forehead back a little bit. We're not going to give him a big forehead. We're going to give him a short forehead because we're going to have a lot of hair on top of it. All right, so we're rounding it over a little bit with that uh, cut saw taper burr. Coarse, gold, silver. The silver is the coarse. Silver is coarse, of course. All right, got a pencil. We're going to draw a center line back in there. Like that. Yep, that looks like center line, Rob. We're going to put some uh, uh, eye ridges. Eye ridges, yeah. That's what we're going to put in there. Eye ridges. Oh, no, that one was wrong. Okay, draw it back in. Yep. Uh, we're going to get the... Draw the nose in there. And we're going to cut over the where the eyebrows are going to be. Not, not eyeballs, but eyebrows. We're making our nose uh, super wide. Always like making the nose wide so we can go ahead and bring it down to the size we want. Uh, so you're always better off making your nose wider than what you think you want it to be. That way there you don't end up with a skinny little pointy nose thing at the top there underneath the eyebrow. Hey, it kind of looks like Bert with that big nose, don't you? Remember Ernie and Bert from, uh, what was that show with the big bird? Uh, Sesame Street, yeah. Kind of looking like Bert. And we're uh, making those deeper. Taper, taper, taper it back, feather it back. Cut that nose in. It's going to be a long video with a bunch of blah, 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 and yada, yada, yada. We're cutting the uh, roundness of the nose at the bottom so it's not uh, super pointy. That's just how I like doing my noses. You can do yours any way you want. The nose probably should have been a little bit longer on this guy. Um, because of where my cheek placement is going to be, it looks a little high to me. Cheeks are going to be a little high. But that's how I do it right there. Cutting the nose down. Getting the eyebrows cut in. Pushing the nose up under the eyebrow. There, that's what I'm doing. That also gives us the split for the eyebrow. Right there. Now we're cutting the eyebrow itself in. Over. Like that. Yep. Using that uh, taper burr. You got it. We're not giving him a unibrow. His eyebrow will stop right at the corner there by his nose okay get that all getting that all shaped in there with that uh, cuts all taper burr in the micro motor this micro motor happens to be made by master carve it's uh, the blue one it's the uh, Pro 120, I believe it's called. Getting his uh, nostrils cut in there. On, or the uh, wings of the nostrils cut in on each side of the nose. Trying to get them kind of lined up. Get that rounded down. I always push back further. When I'm cutting that in, I'll push back further, lower than the nose, lower than the arch of the nose. See how that arch stopped right there? Well, I'll push that nostril back a little bit when I cut that little, uh, the flare in, the wing of the nose. Is it the wing of the nose? You ever see a nose fly? I've seen fingers up a nose. I've seen, I've seen people mining for gold up there, digging in deep. One guy, I was uh, in Atlantic City out on the boardwalk there on the by the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. And there was a guy, he had his finger so far up his nose, I thought he was tickling his own brain. But then to find out, he only had half a finger, so it only looked that way. He was up to his knuckle in there, and I'm like, wow. 
Then he took his hand down and he only had he's missing the half his finger. I think I think he was doing a joke on somebody, saying he had his finger stuck in his nose and he only had half a finger. Okay, so we're uh, roughing the eyeballs in there. Just making them two little almond shapes, and then uh, that'll be our upper eyelid you just seen there. See how we did, got that upper eyelid? We, we cut the oval in for the eye, and then went back through the oval and put the upper eyelid in. There's a thousand different ways to do eyes, guys. A thousand different ways to do them. Uh, and I'm trying probably 999 of them over the course of the next few videos here to uh, figure out how I want, how, what style I fits my style of carving. So you uh, you won't see me this do uh do what the next eye I do probably won't be anything similar to the way I'm doing this eye, but you can see it's almost done already, right? So we're uh, we got a diamond burr in there, and something with a point to give us our upper eyelids. I always always seems like I make my eyes too big. But I'm trying to get them, I'm trying to get them whittled down. Get it? Cottonwood bark, rotary tool whittling, whittle down, whittle it down. Now you, I could just leave them just like that, and they'd be fine. Probably they turned out better if I left them like that. But nope, I get carried away. Okay, we're gonna get into the corners there uh, to give the eye that roundness. We're gonna cut them corners of the eyes back. See, now we just cut the lower eyelid in. And we gave them pupils. And we're always going to push each corner from left to right down to uh, give the eye that round shape. And we've got that diamond burr in there. And we're working the, uh, the nose, wings, and the uh eyes and the wrinkles and the bags and all that good stuff uh most people won't do it this way they will go back and do the mouth and everything then come back and do the eyes for me the eyes are the whole carving uh if the eyes don't come out good i just prefer to stop and go back and do it again so now we got the uh coarse football burr in there it's a coarse flame burr silver we're going to use that to take down the uh spot under the eyes right yeah under the nose and right here i should have dug in two lines on each side of the flare of the nose and made my cheeks uh so i messed around and i think the cheeks came out a little too short uh now that i see what i did i can tell myself what i did wrong right Hindsight's 2020, or in this case, this guy, this guy's eyesight is probably 2020, right? And yeah, like Jordy said, there's no exact formula for a wood spirit. They're whatever you want to make them. So I'm making this guy goofy looking with short cheeks. Short cheeks. Take down a little bit of that top wood. That's where the hair is going to go. And get this... Uh, Push that forehead back. See, I always start with a short forehead. And then I can always push it in deeper. If you start out with a long forehead or a tall forehead to start out with, uh, well, I guess you could still fix it. You can bring the hair down more to it, right? Now we're drawing in the mustache. You might as well, uh, while we're drawing, we'll go give a shout out to Lou Ann Tucker and to Gypsy Rose, Anna. Claire, Peggy Hicks, um, Jordy Johnson at Carving Fusion, Ben over at Studio on the Lake, Rock of Ages USA, Sean Brooks over at Pen on Fire and Wood Carving, Dan Carpio, C A R P I O. Dan's over there, he's carving the Seven Dwarfs. The Seven Dwarfs. I've carved the 20 gnomes, and he's carved—he's carving the seven dwarfs. 
Yep. So you can see I'm cutting my cheeks in there. I should have left them right there, but nope. I kept messing with them, and I ended up driving. I think I drove them up too high, to be honest with you. But things you learn. It's all about learning. We learn together, right? Maybe by my mistakes. You can learn by my mistakes and make yours better. That's we're putting the bag under the eye. See, I think that cheek should have been a little bit longer. And I could have done it if I just drug that uh that line right at the time right at the side of the mustache, just drove it down more. Down yeah, right there. Down more. I should have just dug it in deep and went down more. See right there is where I messed up, I think. I cut it too short. But is what it is. You can't put the wood back, especially uh, cottonwood bark can't put it back on once you take it off remember carving is a subtractive art you're always taking away and to put it back is very difficult or can be very difficult and a lot of glue you see we're uh working on the mouth there getting that rounded in changing over burrs putting bad uh cut saw taper burr back in there I believe this one is the gold. So this one would be the fine. It cuts all fine. Getting that work down right there like that. Getting that lip undercut. Smoothing stuff out. Feathering it back. Undercutting the uh, mustache. So the lip actually sits back up underneath the mustache. Then we're going to take the mustache down. Now we're cutting some beard hairs in. Like that there. Using the uh, cut saw taper burr. And then we'll come back with a carbide inverted cone. It's like an upside down cone burr. The cone points towards the shaft. And we'll be working on the corner with that to cut in some more beard hairs. Rounding the nose over. Getting stuff shaped up. Pull it down, pull it up. Cutting our hairs in. Framing the face a little bit. Uh, bringing the temples in the hair a little to give the face, uh, give you something a little more interesting to look at. Cut some beard hair, some eyebrow hairs in with that. And we're going to change over and this is the inverted comb burr. Okay, inverted cone. Love using this for doing hairs. I like using the inverted cone. I do use a cylinder, a cylinder too, but the inverted cone, because of that reverse angle on it, lets you get... Uh, in my opinion, it gives me better hair texture. And it lets you get into some tighter spots. And we're working that down. Say hi to over there to Ben at Studio on the Lake. Mark D. Maker. Matt Carves. Over there in, uh, I think he's in New Zealand. I can carve back over in Belfast, Ireland. Belfast, Ireland. All my friends out there, all my subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I can't thank you guys enough for watching the videos. I uh, hope I don't bore you too awful bad. I know it, it can be pretty painful at sometimes just listen to me flap my lips. Yep, I don't even like it. And still just cutting more hair in. And that kind of stuff there. Changing out the burr again. Taking a look at him. Saying, hmm, looks like a wood spirit to me, I believe, I believe. Another burr in there. And back at it. And it looks like I decided to go back with the inverted comb burr. Hey, Glenn. Glenn McKelvey, how you doing up there in Quebec? Quebec, Canada. Hey, uh, make sure you guys go over and check out uh, on Facebook, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers Original. There's a lot of great artists over there to uh, check out. There certainly is. Now, you see I'm using that diamond burr there. It's kind of like a flame burr, modified flame burr. Push up under the nose to give that uh, cheekbone a little more shadow. That's what I was doing there. You could see as soon as I did it, you could see the see it change, the shadow change on it, which is uh, 
what it's all about when you're carving uh, is to get as much shadow on stuff as you can. So when he's hiding on, hanging on the wall or hanging outside on a tree or wherever you're going to put him, uh, it gives it that shadow. Working on the eyeballs. Something I learned, once you do the eyeballs, just leave them alone. Don't keep messing with them. Because uh, it's so easy to mess up the work that you've already done by trying to put them in deeper. Once you get them the way you like them, leave them. Don't go back and keep messing with them. Uh, I found that's true with painting. You know, you paint something, and you're like, well, I want to fix this or fix that. Let it dry. If you go back and start messing with it, you're only going to make it worse. So, like with these eyes, if I would stop messing with them, they'd probably be okay. But I got to keep going back. See, I keep going back in there. Leave it alone, Rob. Leave it alone. But I don't. That's just the way it works out for me. Uh, I got to stop trying to be a perfectionist on these, uh, like these eyes and stuff because I tell you, you could drive yourself crazy just going over it and over it and over it. Once you get it, hold it back about a foot from you. You know, if it looks good, leave it. You know, nobody's going to be crawling up on this thing with a magnifying glass like I am. Sitting here with my... Uh, magnifier glasses on and I can see all these little tiny dips and stuff I want to get rid of but you know once you put on once you take those off and look at it, you're like oh well that's not that bad what was I stressing over don't stress don't worry be happy don't worry be happy don't worry be happy now don't worry and don't get crazy don't get crazy with your scotch bright because i'll tell you what on this cotton bark that scotch bright will melt your work right away believe me you're gonna see me go back over everything i just did because i went a little too crazy with the scotch bright and erased half of what i put in there okay yep that's a heck of an eraser that scotch bright that red scotch bright so now you can see I flattened all the sharp edges off of my hair. So I got to go back and cut them all back in. I'm using the diamond cone burr. Diamond flame burr thing. And I'm like, I could kick myself. I'm like, man, you just did all that work. And you just flattened it all out. It, used to, it did not take very long either. Uh, I had that on my other Dremel 4000. And it was only turning, you know, it was low. I think. 10,000 maybe 6,000 rpm and it took off that that much wood that quick yep did it to myself so now i gotta go back over everything that you just watched me go over I gotta go back over it again get it all tuned in there so while we're doing that remember to share subscribe and like my friends share subscribe and like and please hit that like button it helps out the uh Helps out the channel like you guys wouldn't believe uh, as far as placing, queuing this video up into the main page of YouTube when somebody types in Wood Spirit, you know. The more likes it gets, the uh, sooner it will show up, I think. I think that's the way it works. I think that's the way it was explained to me. Or I could be totally wet on the whole situation. I don't know. But hit the like, leave a comment. Always read the comments. Always try answering them. I appreciate it. Love reading the comments. Uh, now we're working the, the things of the nose back. Looking at him from sideways. We don't want him to look like he's been punched in the face, right? And we're going to go back in there. And now we're going to cut into hair hairs. Hair, 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 hair. Okay, so. That's about it for this guy. I think he's almost done. I think so. I think we got about five more minutes. We're going to go around and do some more cleaning up. Got that inverted cone burr back in there. Putting our, deepening our hairlines that we erased. Yep. See that? See how nice that does that? Cuts them right in there. Nice. We're going to drag them down the side of his face there. 
And I'll be cutting another wood spirit on here. Just to uh, cut another wood spirit on it, right? Uh, you guys won't see that one, though. But we got another one going. Another wood spirit in line that we're uh, getting ready to carve. I will record that, that guy. We're not going to put any finish on this guy. We're just going to uh, drill a hole in the back to hang them and take them out back in the deep in the woods and nail them to a tree. Let somebody find them. Somebody else can have them. I really don't like them. I don't really care for them. I mean, eh, I think I can do better. So we'll, we'll take it back there and let one of the Boy Scouts wandering through the woods find them. They'll take it. Maybe they'll take it home or be afraid of it. Be afraid. Be very afraid, children. Be very afraid. There's wood spirits in the woods. Okay. Yep. Cleve's Backyard Woodworking. Go over and check out Cleve at Cleve's Backyard Woodworking. Good guy, Cleve. Yep. Okay. See? We got his nose sticking out. All nice. Do a little sanding on that forehead. Get it back a little bit. I'll go in there and put some wrinkle lines on his forehead. To uh, And we're going to deepen the hair, the, the splits in the hair, right down to the scalp on the forehead. See, I just can't. I got to learn to leave them eyes alone. They were fine. They were, they were okay. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. If you're interested in uh, checking out how who what carving tools to use and that, go over and check out Jordy Johnson, the Carving Fusion. He's doing a whole series on what kind of carving tools he uses. Whole series on it. Let's go over there and check that out. He goes over to Dremels and the micro motors and the wood burners and all that stuff. To the, right down to the sandpaper. What kind of sandpaper and stuff that he likes to use. And uh, so go check that out. Carving Fusion. Go check out Jordy. And if you guys would like to save 5% on cuts all burrs, use the code CARVROB in all capital letters. And I will leave a link in the descriptions below if you're interested. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Spike. All right. All right, old plantation. Evil Evil Rick. Evil Rick has a uh, YouTube channel called Evil Evil Rick. Go check out Evil Evil Rick. Evil Rick. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I just don't know what else to say. There he is. That's it. Go back over to my lashes one more time. Okay, so I want everybody to uh, have an awesome 2022. May it be a damn sight better than 2021. So share, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. I know, I keep saying it, right? It sounding like a tape recording of myself. Share, subscribe, and like. Share, subscribe, and like. I bet you guys are getting tired of he hearing me say share, subscribe, and like. But you know, they say once you hear something three times, you got to do it. So share, subscribe, and like. <laughs> All right. We're winding her down here. We're getting the eyeballs done, and this guy will be done. And yes, I did sign it on the back. I did sign it. Maybe I shouldn't have signed it. Maybe I should have left this as the unknown carver. And I know how much you guys enjoy these voiceovers. And how much I enjoy talking to you guys. I hope you're having fun watching the video. Leave a thumbs up if you would be so kind. Oh, there it is at the bottom of the screen. Share, subscribe, and like. All right. All right. It's been fun. We've had fun, right? It's been fun. Okay. Yep. I think so. I think I'm done now. Bye-bye. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. Do something. Bye-bye.